Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm happy to welcome you to Let's Play Contrast. This game came out in November 2013, and it's a puzzle platformer with a theme of light and shadows, and a visual aesthetic inspired by 1920s vaudeville and film noir. I don't actually know anything about the story this time, except that the protagonist's name is Dawn, and she's a little girl's imaginary friend. So instead of talking about that at length, I'll just mention that, uh, this is going to be a blind LP. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. I'd also like to, uh, give a special shout-out to Nightshade Cliff, the Burning Dog fan who gifted me this game over Steam. Thanks, dude. This means so much to me. So I suppose we could just sit here and listen to this, uh, classy-as-fuck cabaret song all day. We've got a game to get to. So without further ado, let's play Contrast. Ah, oh, yes, I did jump into the very first area in order to test the frame rate and audio levels. But I haven't seen outside the this first room, so, you know. Not a big deal. Tom Tom Ooh, calm down, frame rate. Let me see if I can kick it back to normal. Okay, that's a bit better. Les Voyages de Balloon Rouge. Dee Dee's escape plan. Go out window. Use rope. Very subtle, kid. What does that say? Well, that says me, but I thought there's something... Oh, I think it's just X's and O's written next to that. This is interesting to me. Because, uh... There's the ominous shadowy figure on the right labeled Dawn, but it's spelled wrong. This, uh, character's name is spelled Dawn as in, you know, the morning breaking. What? See, it's spelled differently there. Also, the drawing looks significantly less ominous. Oops. Dee Dee's drawing of her family. Oh man, can I... I can barely hear it anyway. Fine, be that way. Take away the pretty music. Ooh. It's time for bed, Dee Dee. Go hop in bed. I'll be right in to tuck you in. Good night, Daddy. What are you doing here? My mommy's coming. You better hide, or she's gonna catch you. Okay, sweetie. Night-night. What are you looking at? I don't think she can see you. Now promise me you'll be a good girl while I'm out singing. I promise. No sneaking out this time. 
I'll get in trouble. I promise. That's my good girl. Mommy, is Daddy ever coming back? I don't know, honey. Maybe someday when he's ready. But don't you worry, Mommy always comes back. I'll be home before you even wake up. Get some nice sleep. Okay, she's gone. She's gonna sing at the ghost note tonight. It's the most beautiful cabaret. Come on, we'll miss her show. Okay. I just mentioned incidentally that I love these ridiculous stripe ed pants. Interact with this crazy jacket? No. Love the decor here, by the way. You know, it's funny, I thought that this was a, uh, a 2D platformer with 3D graphics. You know, some people call that 2.5D. My god. Skids! Building right outside the window. Is nowhere safe? Oh no! Somebody moved the ash cart! Look! I know! You could go down there and move the ash cart. And I could jump down. I'll play here. So you can go over there and be a shadow person. Achievement unlocked. A new dimension. Unlocked when the player shifts for the first time. Man, I haven't had uh, the ability to unlock achievements since Pony Island. Okay. So it is kind of a 2D platformer. Could you teach me how to do that? Sorry, kid. I'm a silent protagonist, apparently. Oh. Oh, lit it has to be next to a lit surface. Okay. Now move the asteroid to where I can jump into it. It's full of barrels! You'll kill yourself! Oh, whatever. I'm not a good friend. I'm an imaginary friend. I have to admit... Um, well, maybe that fall then. Yeah, it seems okay. I wonder who moved it. Do you think it was Mommy? She got really mad at me the last time I snuck out. Where did you go for so long? I haven't seen you in three weeks. I really wish you had been at my birthday. Daddy missed my birthday. Now we go this way. Follow me. So I have to admit, um, until about, I, I was gifted this game last February, and because it's not on my wish list, and it's always exciting when you, oops, when you, uh, no, you can't uh, center the camera behind yourself, unfortunately, no button for that, apparently, uh, you know, it's always exciting when you explore new territory of the game. Uh, you're not even familiar with, so I deliberately looked up nothing about this game. The only thing I knew about it until about three days ago was that the protagonist's name is Dawn. And then a friend of mine let slip that she's a kid's imaginary friend, and even finding out that much annoyed me. But I have to admit, I, th I think if I didn't know that going in, I'd just be really, really confused at this point. You have to be standing next to the wall, huh? Oh, I think you're too big. <laughs> hmm. I think that goes all the way through to the other street. If I move this cart, you could walk up the shadow, couldn't you? 
Clever girl. Yeah, it's very clever that... Well, it's all a matter of shadows and perspective there. Oh, right. Come on, we're gonna be late for the show! Ahem, sorry. Oh, shit. Oh! Man, I really should read that tip. I'm usually better about what? I'm usually better about that kind of thing. I'm not a very good friend, are I? Just leaving her to her own devices. <laughs> I mean, if even her, she's leaving her imaginary friend behind, this is kind of a reckless girl. Oh, the smoke coming from that cigar. Someone was just here. One of ten luminaries collected. Saw that in the menu, and I was wondering what that meant. Man, this is a lot more enjoyable than the last time I was in the 20s. Act 1, Invisible Friend. Oh. Steal this poster? Cat Knight, premiering at the Ghost Note. Wonder if that's Dee Dee's mommy. Oh, I've just noticed the uh, the music notes and the smoke she's blowing out. That's cl it's clever. Actually, uh, based on the, the look of the buildings, my friend thought it was, uh, uh, Paris. So he just says to me, Is that the one where you're an, uh, an imaginary, or your kid's imaginary friend in Paris? And I'm just like, sort of, you know, completely blanked out by this. Just, what? Yeah, alright, fair enough. I, uh. Oh, hey! What's going on up there? Oh. Oh dear. Okay, not crushed. That's good. I really like just the. If you'll notice, the, the, the regular ass bike shadow, because this one's right here. And then this giant one, because it's all the way next to the light. I keep forgetting you actually have to be touching the surface. Two of ten luminaries collected. Illuminated achievement unlocked. Unlocked after the player gets their second luminary. Yeah, I was a little annoyed at the time, but fine, I forgive you. I really could, I really needed that detail that uh, I don't really exist. Am I just dropping down from here? Wait. Oh, there's nothing keeping me from just running down the thing. This, the whole thing was for that optional thing. Okay. Oh, hey! It's the main menu. St. Matthew's Shelter. I didn't think this was Paris. Vaudeville was an American thing, wasn't it? Well, beer would have an I in it and one less E if it was uh, French, so. Eight to the bar. Menu! No, I can't read that handwriting. 
coffee, espresso, panini, tarts, biscotti. 85 cents! That actually seems kind of high for 1920. For a cup of coffee, I mean. Can't speak to the other ones. Pompeii, hmm. Newspaper article. Carmine Bruni acquitted of murder for second time. Oh wow, it's actually written here. Fine. January the 4th. Alleged mob Lieutenant Carmine Bruni walked out of Central District Court this morning a free man. The jury, the jury sorry, acquitted Bruni on four counts of homicide in connection with the gory shooting death of a bartender at the Wolf and Lamb Tavern last April 7th. Bruni claimed he acted in self-defense when the bartender, Robert Antos, attacked him. Mr. Antos was found with 18 bullets in his body. Police stated that the bullets came from two different handguns. What prosecutors claimed as a strong case began to deteriorate after the unexplained disappearance of a key witness, Ingmar Olofsson. Two further pro prosecution witnesses who claimed to have seen Bruni enter the wolf and lamb with his associate, Salvatore Deben De Benedetto, sorry, in the moments before the shooting, recanted their testimony on the witness stand. We're just pleased that justice has been served, stated Bruno's defense attorney, Jonathan Parker. Mr. Bruni has been hounded uh, enough by a loose cannon DA and a corrupt police department. You're supposed to capitalize DA, just saying. This is the third felony trial and the second murder trial at which Mr. Bruni has been acquitted in Central District Court. Police maintain that Mr. Bruni is a lieutenant of the, Vas of the Vasari... Uh, huh. I guess it's not showing the entire article, because it goes, a lieutenant in the Vasari crime... And then it says, Mr. Bruni, though his attorney, uh, unnecessary comma, asserted that he is in the fl floral products business. And the caption on the image is, Carmine Bruni was acquitted today of four counts of first-degree murder. What prosecutors claimed is a strong case deteriorated after the disappearance of a key eyewitness. Well, I suppose I should, you know, meet up with a kid, rather than hanging out in the Girls, Girls, Girls Club. Man. What does that mean, the plump? Wait. Huh. Pompeii was a city that was destroyed by a volcano. It's a really weird name to give to a strip club. Let's try out the other buttons, seeing if they do anything. I haven't found anything yet. The gold mine. Oh, I guess I'm. I did see it across the street from me. I just wanted to look around first. Fair enough. They haven't started the show yet. You missed the dancers. Dancer when I grow up, or an acrobat like you. Did you always want to be an acrobat? You're so good. You should be in the circus. That? Too bad nobody can see you. Come on, let's go in. Can I walk away? There's a shiny thing over here. What the fuck? I guess that was a graphical error. She asks that question every night, doesn't she? Hmm. Reality seems to be coming unfurled over here. Let's just turn around and walk away. Can I get over this? No, I can get in there later, I guess. Oop. That's my good girl. Yeah. Morning. 
Okay, that's interesting. There is a luminary up there. That's my good girl. Damn it! Hey kid, sorry about stepping on your head. You know, if she's an acrobat, that does kind of explain the outfit. Alright, now I feel like I'm sequence breaking. Let's just get back to the door. Oh! Extra Life 2012 donor list. Special thanks to the heroes among us who made Extra Life 2012 that much more special. Ah. I swear I didn't know this was here. Well, I salute you. Okay, now it's stopping. Uh, there. Achievement unlocked <laughs> to the heroes among us. Unlocked and the player finds the hidden Extra Life 2012 logo. Nice. Wholesome Goodman's and Company. Beamsville, since 1724. You know, certainly, earlier, the last time I was in the 20s, it was Clive Barker's Undying, and I was being hunted by demons. So, you know. Oops. What all the time I've spent faffing around. Sorry about that! Hey, hey, at least I found some interesting things. Uh. I guess until next time, that'll do it for this one. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Contrast, when we actually head into the Ghost Note and see uh, Dee Dee's mother performing. I hope. <laughs> Later.